disambiguation. Ambiguation is something that humans do very well with. We can understand through context what someone's talking about and make sense of it. So, for example, you say, Bob is taking his father to Dr. Sorrento. It's really sad he has cancer. We know from the context that it's probably Bob's father that has the cancer. Whereas if we follow the next sentence up with, he has an office in Palo Alto, we'd know that we were talking about the doctor. And if we said, he's a really nice guy, we'd probably assume that it was Bob. But without that context and without that human factor, there's no way to tell which he it is that's doing the things. We know that doctors have offices. We know that people go to the doctor for cancer. And we know that nice people take their father to the doctor's office. And so only by using the previous sentence and knowing what's going on can a human figure it out. Well, machines don't have that good of a vocabulary, so it's a lot harder. For example, let's say I'm going to buy a Mercury. Chances are you can assume that that means I'm going to buy a car, because the Mercury that I would buy for my thermometer, we just say, I'm going to buy Mercury. And we don't confuse that with the planet, because you can't buy the planet Mercury. So I'm going to buy Mercury, unless you are a billionaire spacefarer, chances are you're not going to buy the whole planet. And this is very hard for computers, but it's because humans can figure these things out. We know whether or not a thing is a singular thing, or whether there's a near infinite amount of it, or that it's eternal, like Mercury, this element, or whether or not the thing is obtainable, like Mercury, the planet, that is not. So ambiguation and disambiguation is very hard for the computer because it doesn't understand all of the words, it doesn't understand all of the context, and for the most part, it doesn't understand all of the attributes that a given noun can have. At Strummer, we're solving this. We've figured out ways to say, this is what a sentence is about, these are the attributes of a thing, and from that, we can do a lot more context than what Google or Microsoft or any of the other search engines have been able to do.